So it has just come out that President Biden, after dropping out of the um, presidential race for his second term, has decided to support Kamala Harris as um, the candidate for the Democratic Party to replace him at the top of the list. So she will probably get that because she is a known entity. She has been vetted by the government. She doesn't have any surprising things in her past, no criminal background. She was the California state a prosecutor. And so she has a lot of knowledge about government and law. So she will be an interesting candidate. I think that with the tone that the country is in, uh, where they are bashing the security officers that were taking care of former President Donald Trump when he was allegedly shot in the ear personally, I think that was just a piece of glass that hit him, but he was hit by something in the ear and they blamed the female security officers for all of the problems and they didn't at all blame the hostile violent rhetoric of Donald Trump which he consistently has so when you live in violence you get violence and I don't think you can protect everybody who's going around saying violent things from having people come out and try to kill them. But I, di I, I am diverting here. I just wanted to mention that President Biden has come out and supported Camilla Harris's bid to replace him. So we'll have to see how it goes. She would become the first female president of the United States and the first multi-ethnic female president of the United States. And we'll just have to see how she fares. I can subscribe. Bye.